I, I am off. someone that they never really seen before hey. Yes, I'm a demon, a beast and all I have psycho, paranoid, evil thoughts Cause I roll my weed on a Ouija board Root do doll in my hand, fam, who you cursing? Bet you wouldn't be that conversational in person I roll up to the funeral, piss on all the hearses Bury all the clergy, right where the church Mosh team zombie, find me where Amped up. Well, what's good? My name is Codex. This is Amped Up Summer Break Day 2. It's been a crazy weekend for us all, man. Crazy battles. The, the vibe's been nuts. So thank you everyone that supported us for the last year. It's been a fucking big journey and we're waiting for, for an exciting 2016. So let's bring that shit on. All right, Epps, talk to him, bro. It's Epps Salon, Stone Cutters. We got this show on January 8th at 56 Bricks. Super good. Get to it. Yeah, yeah. Amped up. Amped yeah, up yeah, 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 yeah. What am up? One slash six. Got Hemicrania coming up. Six of January. But let's get it back to the motherfucking point. Everybody in the place, make some noise. Damn straight, damn yeah, straight. All right, so. Shout out to my sponsors, Oz Hip Hop Shop and BC Clothing, the holders now for the last year as well, man. So, on the battle on my right, introduce yourself, homie. Yo, what up? Yo, what up, Melbourne? Yeah! yeah. Swagnito! <laughs> Miles Murphy, one out, Christchurch. Come for another body. That's what's good, that's what's good. All right, and the battle on my left. Yo, what up, Mr. Ruffin? How we doing, everybody? Yeah! yeah. Got CDs on sale. Just follow the link below. Some good shit, yeah. $10, $10 for anyone or a skewer. We've already, already done the flip off. Flip is going to go first. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, bro, let's get it. All right. Now, for those that don't know me, I'm the Kiwi bloke that 3 0 Dundee. And apparently made his friends commit suicide, though. Codex thought it was something that you should try, so I'm just here to supervise. And in the event you survive, I'll drop him in Rob because it's not often I find shoes my size. <laughs> in the videos, you look like a pretty big dude. But I ain't willing to lose. I'm just listening some truths. So I've dropped bigger bitches than you. The left hand will make his whole system reboot. The right will leave him missing a tooth. Fakes like he had his wisdoms removed. But you probably think I'm trying to act hard. Well, I heard you talk about scraps in your rap bars. Homie, come back when there's scraps in your backyard. Ooh. I bet you never had a fight in your life, because when you said that shit, you didn't look the guy in the eyes. I reckon his friends would feel safe right on the side if ever they're likely to fight. But you're the first one I'd go for if they try it tonight. When you drop the biggest one first, and the rest get scared. That's how you can win a war being less prepared. I thought you were bigger than me, bro. You best beware a body shot or have him go in the electric chair. Yeah. This is my first time in an Aussie league because I heard you commit more robberies than slot machines but <laughs> but I ain't making excuses you know I do this properly there ain't no stopping me like Cola Meads this wannabe's getting bodied just like the Wallabies yeah. Yeah. what you gonna do? Shit. call me a sheep shagger? <laughs> and bar me to death? <laughs> Not before you bore me to death. Like, yo. It's Coldplay Cade. I'm a lyrical dude. I'm as sick as the flu. I had like eight battles and I didn't improve, so I changed my name again because that's just what I do. With that neck, you could deep throat a didgeridoo. Fucking little web original dude could probably fit in there too. <laughs> wow. If you don't call time, I'll keep killing this dude. <laughs> nah, it's alright. I'm already finished. It's alright. I'm already finished with you. Time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm flattered. I'm flattered you envy my talent to MC and even travelled from NZ to battle against me. I live a block away, was offered pay and still couldn't be bothered, eh? You're getting the time of day because my bank account's empty. I'm here for the money, man, that's the only reason. I have a job to do, then I'm getting my dough and leaving. 
After I rob you too, motherfucker, it's open season And all at the show this evening we feed it Anything that you own we season Tonight me and my homies eating And you'll be on the street alone and freezing Without your wallet, phone or even your clothes to sleep in By morning you won't be breathing And I'll have your home receiving a face full of fucking semen Some shit like that, I fucked it up Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And that's the last you're marrying? That's embarrassing yep. That bitch is the face of adultery. She is Ashley Madison. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, that's the break when you caught masturbating to some dude in Vanity Fair. For that, she hates him. He said he was a tad mistaken. But don't even act like you didn't know Bruce was actually Caitlyn. You are whack at battling. Even your bitch says so. A spastic babbling. Due to the incest, though. <laughs> Bro, in Melbourne, the laundry bar is where the dickheads go. I'd rather hang out with fucking Clarence from the Big Les show. <laughs> And yo, real talk, Emerald MC wanted to verse you on some personal shit. You told her you don't battle girls, which you heard is legit. Yeah, I bet you don't have sex with them either, I'm certain of it. Scared to death because you know you'll get murked by a chick. Go back to your island, you won't survive in this concrete jungle. I know dudes will burn your house down and watch you crumble. This mob of cunts do any job that comes through, and for a modest sum too. I just buy them a packet of ciggies and bobs your uncle. Mm. Who I heard often fucked you. Give it up for that guy! All right. No, this is where I'm supposed to flip. If I remembered your stuff, but it's sad because you're just as whack as the rest of these cunts. I mean, why do you, is that why you rap like pipes? With a dash of snipes? <laughs> How many jokes are you gonna try crack tonight? Man, it's like Matthew Klein had to write your battle rhymes. <laughs> but when I use these hands of mine, it's a pantomime. I'll show you the box, but I'm not the one trapped inside. <laughs> you gotta think outside of the square. Suicide society, living life on the edge, the arrival of death as soon as I'm inside of your head. And I'm finally here. I hope this guy is prepared. This gonna be the biggest beating of your entire career. <laughs> I say career. Like you're some superstar. Homie, if the only reason anyone in New Zealand knows who you are is because I didn't know who you are and I had to ask them if they know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> is it irreverent or irrelevant? Which is it, Cade? Because the fact you're whack has nothing to do with your name. You're missing something, that inner substance, that shit that's bumping. Mr. Ruckman isn't nothing, your name should be interruption. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what rhymes with the reverend? I don't know. Fuck boy like a reverend. <laughs> with a bottle of sedatives. Put him to sleep, you're gon' need more than a shot of adrenaline You best take his pictures now if you wanna remember him He's dead, there's no medicine, what I'm spitting is venomous A C-City dentist, I'm ready to swing like a pendulum Ooh. Quit acting as if it's genuine Stop the pretendership, there's not a cont- No, hold up, hold up <laughs> Oh shit Stop the pretender shit, you're not a contender What is the evidence? It's not an Oz top 10 that you've ever been mentioned in And that bag done deep He's an obvious veteran, but you're not a comparison. You're a total embarrassment. You'll drop sooner or later. I don't care what your album is. But yeah, see, you don't get it because he's wet. <laughs> <laughs> Gave you promo. <laughs> Man, how much research did you do on me? Dude's a creep, a fucking computer geek who can't move or speak unless it's through a tweet. You're one of those fuckwits who post pictures of the food you eat. And soon to be a toothless. <laughs> Come on, man, fuck with. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and soon to be a toothless freak. I'll have you posting pictures of soup next week. <laughs> and do you really not have a clue? Most rappers knew that I used a different name because I'm embarrassed to battle you. What? It ain't clicked yet, you thick pleb. I should smack you black and blue like Keishan did Sharon. Now that'll rack up views. It's oh. totally worth it then. Yo. This is depressing for me, mate. You are the biggest bummer. I went from battle influence to his unwanted autistic brother. <laughs> you lost that too. <laughs> no. Yeah. Fuck New Zealand, man. The Hobbit was shit. <laughs> uh, what else he's known for? Yeah, it's probably it. <laughs> what else is your country do except barely exist? I heard it's nuke-free, but why? It would rarely be missed. <laughs> 
That's why there's no jihadists in your area, bitch, because they know no one would care if a terrorist hits. Oh, damn. Damn. I'm joking, I love you, country. <laughs> Since you live there, fuck your country. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your mum for producing a cunt so ugly, the slutty junkie. Her arm scabby like she were bitten by vicious beetles. Looking like that bitch throwing that pit of needles from one of them jigsaw sequels. A <laughs> bitch conceived you after a gangbang with 50 people. <laughs> of all ethnicities, there's no telling which is in your gene pool. You look a Jew beard away from a frickin' Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Which really wigs people out when you greet them with a Hebrew. <laughs> and you're a scrawny little weasel who looks so orthodox I bet you suck foreskins off like rabbis in the Middle East do. <laughs> and you call it fasting, I say your mum was committing evil. She didn't feed you because she was busy swigging shivers regal and sniffing diesel. <laughs> Victim to the same problem as that baby in train spotting. They've stranded in his crib where he would lay sobbing for days often. So fucking hungry that he ate cotton. And today nothing's changed. He still bites pillow. <laughs> so now he has AIDS from it. Oh. It's not, I'm not homophobic though. Not even, not even a little. I was in a bukkake with 50 dudes. Your niece in the middle. <laughs> Which you know, because you were there looking evil like Fritzel in his family when the girls turn 18, it's a ritual. He was groping all the guys, it wasn't easy to miss you. Arms everywhere like you had the fucking features of Vishnu. <laughs> this creep, this creep is abysmal. I told the local teachers to issue kids with a rape necklace so when you come in reach they can whistle. Oh, oh shit. Get up! I don't have a niece, by the way. <laughs> but now I gotta talk to this guy. Cause I never thought in my life I'd meet a person with a voice more boring than mine. <laughs> and your ringer. Cover your ears, man. With no soul. Now you know what you need to do. Don't think it through. It's ironic you told Dottie you're an atheist because God clearly doesn't believe in you. <laughs> that makes sense, you don't exist. Uh, fuck up, yeah. <laughs> but you talk like he but he talks like he got the devil in him. So let me level with him. You ain't nothing but a forgetful Christian. I've said his God didn't accept his benediction. It's fine if you're against religion. But how could you then be willing to accept tradition and pretend you didn't, bro? It's December 13th. Instead of wondering what you'll get for Christmas, you should be wondering if you'll get to Christmas. Because I came over. Oh. Yeah, Christian bars. Because <laughs> I came overseas just to test the waters, but after this party, I'll probably get deported. <laughs> Suicide Society, the Seven Swordsmen, I split personalities like Edward Norton. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cage's next performance will be as a headless horseman, I'll find him in two inches of blood like Dexter Morgan. Yeah. Woo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I heard your ex-girl raps. <laughs> and that's kind of bizarre. But what's worse is I heard she dumped you for biting her bars. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more Mr. Nice Guy. You must regret it in hindsight. I'll make that bitch download like unlimited Wi-Fi, then yeah. upload the oh, video. Yeah. Oh. You must regret it in hindsight. Well, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'll make that bitch downloads like unlimited Wi-Fi, then upload the vet and post it on your timeline. <laughs> you have to show me a check before I show him respect. Choke him to death, broken his neck before I've broken his sweat. Three mm -hmm. yo and these vets, they know I'm the best. It's over their heads. All that's left to say is, Codex, who's next? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with your head? <laughs> your face unnaturally slopes like a collapse from being smashed in the nose. Your right eye is so lazy it's practically closed. Are you just high all the time or have you had a few strokes? You look like Ronda Rousey after Holly shattered her hopes. Ooh. And yo, I said I want an opponent bearing. Not an insecure little bitch, my heart alone is scared him. You can't, you can't cover the stench of shame with the cologne you're wearing. You are a fucking failure at life, and the sound of no one caring is overbearing. 
Only thing you can do now is lose with pride. Or off yourself, I assume you've tried, but this time do it right. <laughs> See your group's name would make more sense if your crew had died and became another number in a statistic on this society of suicide. Yeah. <laughs> That sort of shit ain't really funny, but you're the Judas type, so moving into the light is really the only way your future's bright. Yeah. Mm. And there's no chance you'll procreate, your girl's tubes were tied, so she could have bare back sex with every dude in sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's what you call she's what you call a prawn. Body is in awesome form, but her face is awful, the shit's gross. Still she's dope to bring to a party and throw the shrimp on the Barbie, which is which is Aussie slang for throw that prawn in a spit roast. Oh. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fucking, yo, stick rose. Yeah, fuck her. She's a slut on the run who went from Hannah Montana Olsen to a bucket of cum. <laughs> like, Ma like Miley Cyrus with every type of virus, sucking 90, <laughs> sucking 99 dicks in this cuckold ain't one. <laughs> she's, she used to be a precious flower like chamomile. Until you gave her an inch and she ran a mile. <laughs> I gave her seven inches and even got your grander smile when I gave her the dick and a dose of euthanasia before she could have the child. <laughs> yeah, I played a rowdy mosh pits on the side of pounded hot chips. You could only score a babe if she were found unconscious or a bounded hostage looking like a fucking flounder cross with a downy ostrich that just got out of Auschwitz. <laughs> I'll go to your town to shoplift. You come to my town, you get beat down by mobsters while your crew of cowards watch us. And I'm a lousy, jobless, loud, obnoxious, wacko, wowing doctors, but no doubt I rock this and that's what I'm sounding off with. Mm. Yeah. 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 Alright, judging uh, Miles Murphy versus um, uh, Kate MC, Mr. Ruckman, Irreverent, whatever the fuck name he woke up thinking he was going to use today. Um, basically, I gave that 2 1 to Miles Murphy. Uh, I don't know, something about Kate's or Irreverent, I'm just going to call Kate. Kate's delivery, it's uh, very. It works on tracks, but it doesn't work for battles. Um, he had some lines that were good, some that didn't hit. Uh, Miles, I thought, it came all around, just polished. Uh, so, yeah, Miles 2 1. What's going on? Judging Irreverent and Miles Murphy. Uh, it was a great battle. I felt that uh, there was a few stumbles in the battle. Um, Reverend had two stumbles in the first and the third, and Miles had it in the second. And I gave the first and third to Miles, and the second to Ruckman, or Reverend. Kamira, Real Talk Adelaide 456. Um, I'm here judging the battle between Miles Murphy from New Zealand and Reverend aka Mr. Ruckman. Um, I thought that Miles Murphy was super solid today. Uh, his performance was, was pretty on point the whole way through. Um, Reverend you know, had a few little stumbles here and there. Um, I couldn't really tell what was written and what was freestyled. Uh, just seemed a little bit either unprepared or just not ready for today. But he did have some, some quite dope bars as well. Uh, so I gave it to Miles Murphy, but Reverend did well as well. What are the results in? Miles is on that side, so I can't even put that one. Miles took the win. Yeah.